get it all over me, dog. Hi, guys. Um, I'm going to be doing what I've got for my new baby, Chloe. She's not arrived yet. She hasn't even been... Dog, please. Out the way. She hasn't even been made yet. But I'm going to show you what I have. I'm going to show you how I will make my bottles not leak. It's a way that I... Because I don't have none of that glue that helps it. So, yeah. So... I got her this bottle first because I thought I really liked it. So we're going to leave that for the end of the video as well. Let me just shut my door a little bit. Come in, come on. Come in, in. So, let's carry on. She's a good girl. Do you want to go out? So the first two things that I'm going to show you. Uh, Mummy, I'm doing a video. I'm doing a video. Um, is the two dummies I got her, two packs, so I got her this pack, it's got a little bear and it's pink with a purple, and then this one's purple with a pink holder and it says hello, and then I got, don't put your bum in my face, so then I got these ones, it's little owl, um, little birds and little bees and butterflies. Because I want her, I'm probably just to cut it a little bit off because it is quite big. And open her mouth because I'm covering the door so no one will see. So, um, so, because she's going to, I want her not to have a magnet mouth. So yeah, in here there's also just clothes so I'm not going to go through that. Um, the next thing is I've got her a teddy lover. If she comes with a teddy lover, she'll probably still use this because I really like this one. She might come with a blanket lovey like this. If she does, she'll probably use that one. So, yeah, I've got this one just in case. This is her favourite toy. She loves this rattle. And this, that will be her favourite toy as well. And then this is her flannel to wash her because she'll be a full body. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to shut the door. I'm shutting my door. So now I'm going to show you how I um, do these bottles. So, it's a very pretty bottle. So, she's going to be a baby, so I don't need this holder on it. Unless I get a toddler. But I won't be getting a toddler. So, she's just going to use the bottle. She don't really need this. Seriously, dog? Hello. I got like two dogs. One looking, and then the other one's in my room. The now one's on my bed. It's got a very soft nipple as well. So it's a nine-ounced bottle. So yeah. Stop it, dog. So yeah, it's red on the top. So yeah. So all I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna pop this out. Oh, card! This card will work much better. So, all you're gonna do is put this on here. Then, you will get a pen and some scissors. Because you're gonna draw it around it. If you get pen on your lid, like I do. Do not use permanent marker because I don't think you can rub that off. All you gotta do is just rub it off. There we go, nice and clean. There we go. So now I'm gonna get my scissors. Where did I put my scissors? Here they are. And then I'm gonna cut it out. I'm gonna cut it out so it is too it's gonna be big to go in there because we're gonna tape it up. This is how we keep it to stay alive for longer. Do I do we do da 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 do? So there, there we go. See if it goes in. So it don't fit in, as you can see, it's not going in. So you could do that, but the lid then the lid won't tie up. So now that is to keep it staying alive forever. I get any colour tape before I use the black one, but it's like washi tape, but it's plastic. So then I'm going to find the end, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do. 
Then you're going to put some on. Lay it down. And then wrap it all around. And then go all different directions. And then maybe I've done that way a few times. I'm going to just... Some corners will be getting a cut, so don't mind that. So when you cut it, your circle might actually fall apart if you're doing two, but I'm not doing two, so yeah. For the other ones, I used paper, so I had to do two. So I, I go around it quite a few times, and I'm going to go crooked. So now I've done that. You've got to make sure the whole circle's covered. So yeah, I'm going to do that and I'll be back. So guys, I'm now finished. So save the tape because we're going to need it again. There we go. Let me shut my door. So there. And now we're going to check if it still fits in. No, it don't. So we're going to cut it. We're going to just go chomp. We're going to get corner and go. Because you're not going to have to, you don't have to cut the whole circle. See if it fits in. Nearly. So it does fit in, but it's a bit too, so yeah. But this is, before you put it in, you've got to put the, I forgot, you've got to put the nipple back in. So I've got to cut it a bit more. Put it in. So this stops the milk or whatever, water, whatever you put in there from... Oh, I just got to do one more thing. Oops. Now I don't know what I have to do. I just had to do one more thing that was getting bent. Here we go. That should be okay now. Pop you in. Okay, it all getting bent. Got to cut it a little more. This does take some time because you don't know how much you need it to be. Oh my god, the dog's at the door. None of my dogs harm my babies, so yeah. So now we're going to have to lay it in. Straight. And then... I think that will be good. Hey, yo, doggy woggy. The dog just opened my door. Now for the test, we're going to get some water in here. <laughs> Away. So I put I put two ounces in here. Doggy, okay, it's not for you. It's okay. Just sit there. So I'm going to scoot. It's not for you. You want it? No, you don't want it. She don't want it now. Shake. This is called the shaking test. Then all I gotta do is squish this down and feed it to my baby. Oh, you can do it like that. This is the one that can actually go in her mouth because her mouth can squish her open and you can put it in. Like that. So yeah, I'm gonna pour the water out. And I'll be back. Ooh. Ava came in. Ava came in. Ayo, Ava. I'll rub your tummy in a minute. So now I've got, I'm going to put this back on. So you can see the polka dots in it. You can see. Now I'm just going to get uh, all of this rubbish and put it to a side. And then get a baby wipe. And just wipe the nipple because you don't want the nipple being dirty. So I'm just going to give the baby, the whole baby bottle, 
everything could wipe on the baby roll because it did have the blue pen on it remember and then you don't know who in the shop has been touching these bottles if they've had any germs so I'm just giving it all a wipe and give this a wipe over put the lid on and ta-da cute baby bottle done and then I'm going to keep this just in case because I don't know let me see what it looks like with it on because I might just randomly just keep it on it looks okay Yeah, I'll keep this on, because it can spin around. Nah, I'm not going to keep that on. Wait! Dog. Sorry. Because, like, it's just peeing me off, that thing. I didn't realise it spun around. So I'm just going to have to put it in here, though. And then put all the other stuff in here. So guys, I'm going to quickly show you how to make milk as well. So, I'm going to pour this out and I'll be back. And get her as much water as you need. So guys, see, I even did it to this one, but obviously I did it with a different a bit of tape. Oh, that was so close. your baby milk and all I'm using is some really good baby powder that looks white so if you're doing wait a sec two seconds let me just wipe it so I can see that's seven that's eight if we're doing about six ounces, I'm using a five milliliter tablespoon. I'm trying to come on. So I flatten it like that. If there's any bump, if there's too much, I just go with that over there and it picks it all up. I'll show you again in a minute. So I'm putting one table one of these tablespoon things thingies in. Dot dot dot. So now let me show you what I did. So what I did was I get the powder, I try and brush as much off as I can, then all I do is get this and get it here and then scrape it along and it picks up all my powder. So I'm gonna put about so that's my second tablespoon. Then I'm going to put another tablespoon in. That one's perfect. So that makes three. Oh. Some came out, so I'm going to heat the. <laughs> that much. Then we're going to add a little bit more. We're going to add four tablespoons and a half. For six ounces for me because four tablespoons and a half makes it pure white and i think it just looks i just like the milk to look proper white because i want it to look as raw as i can it can be so that's a four and then now let's go with a half so i'm gonna get all of it and i'm gonna do what i would do for a fifth scoop clean the edge then i'm gonna figure out where the half is about that Hmm. Half would be here. So all of this here, I'm going to try and take off. So I'm just going to take off all of that. Just add in that bit. So about half. 
Okay, that was about half. I'm not good with halves. All I need to get is a 4.5 millilitres. So I'm going to put that there. This is messy. If I shake it up, give it a really good shake, it makes it look pure. It makes it look real white. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye. Love you.